welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Audrey and today I have for y'all another Shein haul but this one's going to be a little bit different. I am going to be doing more of a capsule type wardrobe here. Um, I have 11 different pieces that I'm going to show you and I'm going to mix and match them to make 24 different looks. So coming up with all these it was a lot because I had to change pieces and outfits 24 times to get the try on part done for this but so worth it because there are tons and tons of wins in this haul really all of them are wins but if you haven't already y'all please hit that subscribe button that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started so like always you already know everything you need is going to be in the description box down below I provide my up-to-date measurements I do have links that take you directly to each piece they are not affiliate links they just let Shein know that I sent you um, I, I include the sizes I got any little extras that you might see that are available I'll link those too so some of y'all might remember that I mentioned that I was going to be looking for a job or I was kind of actively looking just here and there um y'all know that i have always worked full time and had my channel and then moving here to north carolina i'll be honest i've been giving my channel a big go but financially it's just not happening <laughs> um, so that's just the reality of having a youtube channel it, it kind of has to be a side gig kind of thing if you if you need money <laughs> so so I actually just got a job so it will be full-time I'm gonna be in a boutique which is perfect for this haul because these pieces I can use for that new job I will be starting next week but I will still be working on my channel I will still bring y'all hauls my ultimate plan is to do vlogmas this year and I mean I know it sounds like it's a long way away but really it's not um, I'm gonna be focused on both and I'm really really excited for it and you know I'm just so excited like I said it's it's just gonna be in a little boutique so it's like the perfect place for me and one big perk I'll be able to wear all these pretty clothes that I have because I'm actually leaving the house <laughs> so, so I will probably include a lot of that on my channel um, just to kind of give y'all some different content outside of hauls that's my plan so bear with me but we're gonna go ahead and get started with this because I have 24 outfits to show y'all so like I said in this haul I have 11 pieces so I have three blazers two tops three skirts and three pairs of pants so all those pieces put together we will come up with 24 outfits so the first blazer we're gonna start with the blazers I'm gonna play everything have pictures all this while we're talking about it because like I said the structure of this is gonna be a little bit different because I have trials for every single look and they all go with one piece at a time so here is this first one now I loosely call this a blazer because it's very very it's a thinner material very flowy it's not structured I do have a more structured one in this haul but this one I would say is more of like a little overlay type blazer it's not structured it's but it's really cute and I love the polka dots so this one is the navy with white polka dot and for this one I got the 2XL and it is 100% polyester this one is an open front blazer there's no buttons or, or anything like that no clasp or anything so it is open front a little bit more of a waterfall type style with an oversized collar this one has long sleeves and it's really really pretty it's not a very long blazer but it's not cropped either and hopefully I already have everything going so you're looking at that but I really do love this one there are not shoulder pads in this like I said it is more of an overlay type piece so if you are in snow and cold cold weather you're gonna have to layer a lot with this or if you're indoors for work wearing it you should be fine but this is not an outerwear piece it's not heavy at all but y'all it is so pretty it's comfortable it's lightweight so this would definitely work for spring and summer going into fall and then if you layer correctly you can go into winter with it too but I love the polka dots everything about this is so pretty and comfortable this is just your basic blazer piece now I do show this one quite a few ways like I said I show it with some navy pants a navy skirt and that skirt is amazing we're gonna go over that in a minute um, so navy pants navy skirt a red pencil skirt 
a red pencil skirt and a pair of red pants. I believe that that's all the combinations that I put together with this navy polka dot blazer. Now I do show this one with two different tops as well. I have a white bodysuit that we'll talk about in a second and also a red sleeveless little ruffle trim tank. Um, I just think this is so pretty and again it's lightweight, it's comfortable, easy to mix and match with pieces. Now you could always of course add this to white pants. You could do black trousers with it if you want to but y'all there are so many combinations and so many different style and possibilities I would be here all day long putting things together but these are just the pieces that I put together for this haul and I really do love this again very comfortable 100% polyester it is more on the thin side but this 2XL is the perfect fit so if you're close to my size go with the 2XL and now the next blazer in this little collection. I have this beautiful white with the blue flowers and green leaves. Now this one does have the darker blue with the green leaves and the white background. This one is very similar to the polka dot one that you just saw, but there's a little bit more texture to this material. Um, again, very lightweight, open front, more of a waterfall type style, large collar, long sleeves. And for this one, I got the 2XL and it is 95 polyester and 5 elastane. So the other one is 100% polyester. This one has just a slightly different makeup of material and you can really tell it in the texture of this one. I'm gonna show you up close again. You can see the texture is just a little bit different in this one. I love this. I love white with blue flowers. I also love white with red flowers. If they had that, I would have gotten it. Um, but I really do love this one. I do show this quite a few different ways. <laughs> I show this with the navy pants, the navy skirt. You're gonna see a lot of overlapping with these, these looks, but the navy pants, navy skirt, and then I had more of a sapphire or royal blue pair of pants and pencil skirt that I paired this with. Now, of course, you could always put a blue top under this. I personally love the white one underneath it. It just gave it a little bit more of a classy or, or classic, more put together look to me. But you can, of course, accessorize this however you want to. But again, open front, large collar, very, very pretty. And one great thing about both of these blazers that we've just talked about is the sleeves aren't too long, so they're not hanging over your hand where you gotta pull them up, but there is no elastic band or any kind of buttons or anything on the wrist, so they are what they are, and these are both long sleeves. But I love these, I love the looks put together. I think my favorite for this blazer in particular was the more royal blue. I think the navy blue worked beautifully, but the royal blue just really made it pop. Now for the third blazer in this haul, it has to be my favorite. I love the other two, but this one is very structured, like I mentioned in the beginning. It is so pretty, and y'all, it's got polka dots, <laughs> like colorful polka dots. Look at this one. Look at that. Now this one is very different. So you have your traditional more of a oversized type collar this one it does have that waterfall look so you don't have to button it but it also does have button closure here it is more of a not quite long sleeve because it has a little bit of a ruching right here with elastic so it keeps it up just a little bit like right here on my forearms and you do have shoulder pads in this now on me i didn't really notice them that much in the pictures or the video but if you don't like them you can always take them out i will show you really quick they just have a few stitches in them you can see there's one stitch here one in the middle and then one up here at the top all you got to do is get you some scissors or little clippers and carefully just snap those little threads and you can take them right out. You don't have to leave the shoulder pads in there at all. But I don't know. I love the structure of them. I think it's so pretty. And for this one, again, I went with the 2XL. And this one has a really nice material. It does have some texture to it, too. And it is 95 polyester, 5 elastane. But I'm going to show you the texture right there and i just love this one because if you look you have got so many color options with this like i said if i tried to do this with everything that i own i would be here all day but this one you have kelly green black gray royal blue yellow pink orange red turquoise peach orange <laughs> dark green like an olive green 
and navy blue so you have pretty much every possible color option in this and i love it it is so comfortable very nice it is lighter weight but it does have that little bit of a texture to it so this one would absolutely go all year round and i believe they have this one in black as well but i just love the white i think it is so pretty and i paired this one with almost everything i think i feel like i put this one on about 15 different times so this one i do pair with the navy skirt navy pants royal blue pencil skirt royal blue pants red pants and red pencil skirt i think that's everything but like i said you also have tons of other colors in this one if you have black trousers pink ones i mean yellow you could do so many things with this because i mean you got every color in the rainbow in this. So I really do love it. It's very comfortable. Again, you don't have to wear it with the button closed. You can leave it open. I do show that a few different ways. You could button it. You can even button it and belt it if you want to. It's completely up to you. But I just think this is so pretty. It's just a happy blazer. It's a happy piece to have. So again, it will carry you into the fall and winter. If you get tired of wearing black and brown and darker colors, add a little bit of brightness to your day in the winter time with this colorful little polka dot blazer i just think it's so pretty and again very comfortable this one's just a touch longer than the other ones but not not really really long but i love this love the sleeves too because i'm bad about pulling my sleeves up and these they kind of already are and now we're going to talk about the two tops that i have in this haul so this first one is just everything it's so pretty and it worked with all the pieces all across the board this is the white bodysuit blouse that i got now this one i'm going to tell you the the fit of this is beautiful it's absolutely beautiful and i went with the 4xl if y'all have watched my channel for any amount of time i love body suits and i always go with the 4xl unless it is very clear that it's oversized i'm always going to do a 4xl because i do carry weight in my lower belly or some people have longer torsos. I don't really have a long torso, but I have a belly. So, <laughs> so the 4XL, it helps with the length of it. So it may sometimes be a little bit loose in the bust, but it always works in the waist and the lower belly. So this 4XL was perfect. And this one is made out of 95 polyester, five elastane. And one thing I was so happy about, and you always kind of take a chance, because sometimes Shein, if it's a white, top or white dress white anything it typically you can see through it this blouse bodysuit is made beautifully it is so pretty look at how crisp of a white that is but the material is very different it almost has it almost has like a neoprene type feel to it. And I know some people don't like that, but I love the feel of that. But it has a little bit of that feel to it. It's not slick or anything like that. It is a heavier material and it is beautiful. This is so beautiful. And it is just open front here, but when you get it on, there's a lot of crossover. So it's not wide open where you're showing all your business. The armholes are not too big. And then you've got, so you see, it crosses over like a faux wrap blouse. You've got darts here. It is so pretty because it has a really pretty fit with those darts. And then you've got the bottom layer here is just a really soft, it almost feels like cotton, but I can tell it's more of a spandex type material. Right here is a different panel. And then you've got the three button closure here at the bottom. But this is so pretty. And I do show this with pretty much every piece in this haul. So having this added a bunch of different looks to this haul because you can wear this on its own and pair it with any of the skirts, any of the pants and wear it just like that. You don't have to layer with this. This could actually be used in the colder weather to be a layering piece if you don't want to bulk up on your arms. If you got a chunky sweater or a cardigan, put this under it, the, pop the collar out, and then you've got a layered piece without all the heaviness of it. So this is another piece that will carry you throughout the year. And I love this. Again, I love the material on this. It worked for all the blazers, all the pants, and all the skirts. And for the second top in this haul, I have this red. It's listed as burgundy, but it is a little more red to me. It's not quite as deep as a burgundy, but this is it. You got the little ruffle trim all around the neck and the sleeves. And I do show, of course, it does not show a bunch of your bra or anything or your whole underarm. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the armholes are not too big in this one. You've got a pretty little pleat right here that just dresses it up a little bit. For this moment with the 2XL, it is the perfect fit. It's not too tight around the waist or the hips or anything. It's perfect. And I do have that problem with some of these tops, you know, occasionally, but this one is just perfect. And it is 100% polyester, a little bit of a stretch to this, but it fits beautifully. So if you are like me and you carry weight in the bottom half, this one is not gonna fit beautifully up here and then be stuck right up here where you can't pull it down because it's too tight. This one is so pretty and I do pair this one with a couple of looks, not all of them because like the blue and white floral blazer wouldn't really work in my opinion, um, but it looked beautiful with the navy polka dot and all the different bottoms and then I paired it with the white polka dot blazer. It was so pretty, but I think this is a very good piece to add to any little collection or wardrobe. And now the next two pieces that we're going to talk about are the pencil skirts. You've already seen them in the try on part of this so far, but I wanted to talk to y'all about them. So I got the royal blue and the red. I love these. They are so pretty. And I love pencil skirts. I know that they may not be for everybody and they do accentuate a lower belly. I get it. I understand. Um, I did not have on shapewear with these at all, just my regular underwear, um, because I just wanted you to see it how it is, because not everybody wears shapewear, but you know, if you do look carefully enough, you can kind of see where my hip just kind of pokes out a little bit. You know where your underwear goes like this, and then your hips? I got hips. That's life, but I wanted you to see it as it is without any alterations, and like it or not, shapewear is an alteration. It is. It does alter the look of something. So, if you want everything really smooth and pulled in, put you some shapewear on under it because pencil skirts are not forgiving where that is concerned. But, we're going to talk about these pencil skirts. I'm just going to grab one of them because they're the exact same. And I got the royal blue and the red. So, here they are. Look at this. So, I love this panel right here. So, you've got a really wide I guess waistband, but really it's not. So your waistband technically is the elastic here, but I love this extra little piece right here. It just adds a little bit more of a structure to it. And you do feel a little bit held in in this. It is more of a firm stretch. So you do have a firmness in this. And as you go down, it is tighter at the knees, but nothing, nothing too bad. And I love the feel of it. It's hard to explain. When I was doing the try on part, when you go to like move like this and your legs are kind of apart, I love the feel of it holding you in, like around your knees. I just think it's such a nice feel. And thankfully they are not too short. But kind of my rule for my style is if something's a little more on the tighter side or more form fitting, it shouldn't be short. But that's just my personal styling philosophy. But these are so comfortable and I just love the little bit of extra hold. You can see it kind of feels like like it has its own shape we're made into it even though it doesn't because I've had some pencil skirts that are a little bit loose and I don't know they just kind of move around on you this one does not it is perfect so for these the bread one and this one I got the 3XL now I think that this is the perfect fit it was a little bit loose in the waist like towards right above my booty but I'm one of those that has a little bit of a gap when I wear jeans and stuff just between my waist measurements and my hip measurements it causes a little bit of a like where it pops out just a little bit and I had that in this but from from my hips and down into my thighs it is perfect so I will take it being just a little bit loose in the waist for it to fit so pretty everywhere else so again 3XL 97% polyester, 3% elastane. And y'all, I love the look of a pencil skirt with something more loose on the top. So I do show both of these with the white bodysuit. I show both of these with the blazers, just a mixture of everything. I just think that the colors of these are gorgeous. I was gonna get a navy blue one in this one, but I have a navy blue skirt in another style that you've already seen, but we'll talk about it in a second. But I didn't wanna have two navy blue skirts, but I'm absolutely gonna add a black one and a navy blue because I believe they have a bunch of colors of these skirts if these two colors are not for you. But if you're close to my measurements, go ahead and get the 3XL. But I love this one. I cannot wait to get the black one and I really wanna get a navy blue one too. And now for the last skirt that I have in this haul, here is the navy blue one right here. Now I gotta say, this is probably 
One of my favorite skirts that I've gotten from Shein because it just feels so good and the fit of it is perfect. Because sometimes they're either too short or they're, they end up being a midi length when it doesn't look like it would be online. This one is perfect in every way, except, I will say, except, <laughs> um, they don't have the elastic sewn through. So taking it off as many times as I did because I forgot a whole collection to take pictures. I, I put it on with both of the blazers and then I missed one. And so I had to put it back on again and then take it off, put it back on again. And so this one kind of got rolled up. I did fix it, but the entire waist in this is elastic, but it's not sewn through. So when, once you take this off once or twice, the elastic band inside of it starts to roll up on you. So you just have to fix it. And that can be annoying, especially if you're at work, you don't want to deal with that every time you get up because then it'll start popping up like this and you just you have to fix it um so i will be putting a few stitches in this i have my needle and thread already out because i'm making a quilt by hand that's what i've been doing in my spare time <laughs> so i'm just gonna really quick probably stitch through these because i want to wear this soon so the belt straps are actually attached to it it's part of the skirt so you can actually tie this in the back if you want to i prefer it in the front i just i'm not a fan of tying stuff in the back it just tends to look maternity on me and I, that's not for me. Um, so for this one, I went with the 2XL and it's perfect. If you're close to my size in the hips especially, people tend to go up a little bit more. You don't need to in this. Go by your waist measurements because it's so flowy in the hip. So this is a 2XL and it's 100% polyester, but it's not see-through. It is so pretty. I'll look at that. It is so nice and just, oh, I love this one. And it has a little bit of weight to it, like a light to medium weight. So you could always carry this through to the next season or the next few seasons. And I just think it's so pretty. I love the stretch of it, but you're gonna have to stitch through that elastic. Just keep that in mind or you'll be fixing it all the time. But this one is so pretty. I did pair it with all the pieces in this haul. This skirt, I tried it with the white bodysuit, the red top, all three blazers <laughs> and it's just a beautiful piece i wish they would come out with all the colors in this i think they only had this in the navy blue but i absolutely want every color i could find in this because it's so comfortable and the length of it is perfect it's just below my knee and it's just beautiful so this would make the perfect work skirt especially if you like the blazer look with a skirt this pairs so so beautifully with all those blazers and now for the last three pieces in this haul, they are the pants that you have seen throughout the try on portion and all the pictures in this haul. Um, they are all the exact same. Now you'll probably recognize these cause I've had, I know I have a black pair and I have a, like a Kelly green pair. Um, and I just love these. So they are the exact same. So I'm going to grab one and talk about them, but I wanted you to see the colors first. So I have the Royal blue and they are a true royal blue. What you see is what you get on my camera. I have the red, and they're so pretty. I love the, the seam down the front. I just think they're gorgeous. And then I have the navy blue. So these obviously go with all the pieces that you've already seen, but we're gonna talk about the red ones because you can see the details a little bit more in the red. So all of these pants, you have a matching sash belt and the belt is really long in these, which I appreciate because what's the point in giving you a belt if it's gonna be too small or you're gonna end up with a tiny little knot in the front like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for all of these, I went with the 3XL based on my experience with these. I would say that they run a little bit small and at one point I was in the 2X in these. Right now I'm in the 3X in these. Um, but I would say they're a more fitted 3X. So they're not going to be oversized if you're close to my measurements. It's not going to be an oversized fit, but the but the wider leg at the bottom it's beautiful i like something that's a little bit tight in the thigh and it just kind of flows away from your leg at the calf i just think it's so pretty and that's what these do so a 3xl in all three of these colors and they're 95 polyester five elastane okay so you do have the wide waistband right here and here's a really good thing they are sewn the elastic is sewn through right here so it's actually attached on both sides so it, this is not going to roll up on you like the skirt so really if you want to if you get that skirt and you want to sew through it this is what i'm talking about just do a stitch 
right through that elastic and you will be fine. So the elastic will not roll around in these pants. You have that seam in the front. You also have pockets. And then, like I said, a little bit wider of a leg, not a flare, but a little bit wider of a leg. So they are more fitted in the thigh and I just think they're beautiful. You do have the fabric belt loops for that sash belt. Now you don't have to belt these if you don't want to. Um, I think some of the blazers it would have looked prettier without the belt. But like I said, I tried so many combinations of this. Taking off the belt was kind of like in the back of my mind. <laughs> but you don't have to belt these if you don't want to. Um, I love these. They're very stretchy, but again, they hold you in. So it's a little bit thicker of material. These are going to be a little bit, I think they'll work for me. I mean, because I don't really work outside or I'm not going to be working outside. Um, but they're a little bit on the thicker side, so these would be perfect for going into fall and winter. But, I mean, if, like I said, if you have an office job or indoor job, it's usually a little bit colder, you'll be fine with these. They're not see-through. They are so pretty and so comfortable. I highly, highly recommend these. Get them, y'all. You can, you can go through the rest of the year with these. Or if you get that white polka dot blazer, you can get every color that's in that blazer in these pants and you'll be good. <laughs> you can wear it every day. But these are so comfortable. Love these. And again, 3XL, if you're close to my size and you like your paint, your trousers and stuff to fit in the waist and the hips and the booty, but give you a little bit of room in, from like the knee down, you will love these. But all of these work beautifully with those blazers. Um, the royal blue looked gorgeous with the the, the white floral blazer. I just think it's so pretty. It's just amazing what you can do with just a few pieces if you kind of plan it out a little bit because when I was picking all these items, they just all kind of fell into place. Like this would work with this and this would work with this. I just thought it was so much fun to come up with these pieces because only 11 pieces and you've got at least 24 looks out of all of these. So I, again, highly recommend these pants. Very, very comfortable. This one, Everything in this haul is a win for me and will be used regularly coming up. So the last little piece I just wanted to kind of show you, kind of point out and show y'all, it's just an accessory piece. So you've probably already seen it in the pictures and all this stuff um, over here, is this little purse. So when I saw this, I was like, well, I gotta get it because I don't have a red purse. I don't have a lot of red accessories, but I love red. And here it is. I just thought it was so pretty. And it has a little deer on it. I know you could take that off if that's not your thing, but oh, it's so cute. I just thought, look at that. I just think that's so sweet. And you have an adjustable strap right here on your purse. And this one, it fit me perfectly. Um, You know, plus size body. Sometimes, you know, your purses, if you do like a cross body, it'll be right up under here. <laughs> this one is completely adjustable. I do have it as big as it will go, but I mean, even that's a little bit too big, so I'll probably have to tighten it, but I love this little purse. I think it's so cute, and it's just, just a regular, it's just got the double zip here, and there's no interior pockets or anything. It's just a basic purse, but y'all, it won me over with that kind of quilted look, and then that little deer. I just think that's so sweet, and like I said, I don't have a lot of red accessories, and this one just fit perfect with everything in this haul. So y'all, that is all I have for y'all today. I know I was going a little fast because I knew that this was going to be, be kind of big. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I just went a little bit faster than usual. Um, but like I said, I'm really excited for the upcoming week and getting into a new job. And I'll, you know, I'll include y'all in all of that. It's not, my channel's not going to take any hits from, from me working. Because if y'all remember, I worked all the time, full time, the whole time my channel has been up ex until about six months ago when we moved here. So I don't want y'all to think that I'm kind of dipping out on you because I'm not, but you know, I hope that y'all understand financially. YouTube is just not, it's its not it. <laughs> so, so this, you know, I love my channel. I love all of y'all. I love doing this, but I still have to make some money. So I'm, I'm really excited to be back in, in the workforce. And this just kind of happened at the perfect time. And I'm so thankful and so grateful. And, um, but I will definitely take y'all along. I, I can actually do outfits of the day and all that stuff too, if y'all want to. So I'm really excited for what's to come. I just think it's going to be a really great move and a great change for me. And, um, but, but again, it will not affect my channel at all. I'm here, I'm with y'all and I'm just excited. So I'm just really, really happy and really excited. And so I appreciate y'all being patient. I know that it's the bit, the videos have kind of been 
kind of scattered out um, but it's just been a little slow this this time of year for some reason so now you know it's starting to pick up a little bit with with hauls coming in and things like that and I do hope to be adding some different stuff to my channel it's just you know it takes time but y'all thank y'all so much for being here and supporting my channel make sure you like and subscribe and share it if you can I would love to see my channel continue to grow um, it just means everything to me so y'all thank y'all so much for being here spending your time with me and letting me share all these things with y'all and until next time y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other and I will see you soon